Hello everybody, my name is Skull Kid, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we made our way to Zora's Domain and had to go off this treacherous little path with lots of Lizalfos and monsters. So anyways, we are in Zora's Domain, and in this episode, we're going to do whatever we have to do to go for our main quest. And so I'm actually not sure what we have to do. It's been a while since I recorded these, but it says that we have to go to the throne room to see. It doesn't say, but let's go up there. Uh, I believe it's it's up here. Um, we might want to actually check um, before we do that. There are some shops here and all sorts of goodies. So uh, I'm not sure here we could cook some stuff. I don't really remember if there's any sort of thing that we need to cook. Uh, what can we pick up? Oh, okay, we can throw these weird little pots. That's nice. Uh, needs a bit of diversity of pots, since they all look the same in most games. Uh, don't know what you do, I'm guessing this is the inn, and there's the cooking pot. Anything else here? Because I do remember maybe that we needed some stuff. Yeah, I really don't remember. So, what else is there? Um, there is this Helian rice. I don't know what there is here. There might not be anything for us here. Oh, hi there. Yes. Um, damage is minimal. Okay. Sorry, I can't speak today, but that's that's kind of a recurring theme on this channel. Um, so we are almost there. If Link could stop being exhausted, what do you have to say? What do you... Oh, it's a shock arrow. Hey! Who did it? Who stole my shock arrow? You're Link! Finally, I can avenge Lady Mifa. It has been 100 years since you last showed your face here. Now I, Segan, will cut you down myself. What do you mean? Playing dumb, hey? Nice try, but you cannot fool me, Champion Link. You were unable to protect Lady Mifa from Calamity Ganon. It has been 100 years since we lost her poor Lady Mifa. How heartbreaking. I won't fail her again. Ah, of course. Because you stole my shock arrow, that's why. In that case, you take the responsibility of appeasing the divine beast Varuta. Okay then. A pretty grumpy Sagan right there. Or Seijin? Seijin? Not sure. Uh, what do you have to say? Hello and welcome! The Zora's Domain is currently searching for a Helion like you. Uh, that said, uh, uh, this Helion, uh, I get the feeling I've seen him before, p perhaps a long time ago. Okay, well thanks Buzz, if that really is your name. And so let's go up here. What is there to do here? Reach the Zora's Domain? Yes we did! cutscene with the king, I'm guessing. Look at that. Mm. Ah, you must be the Helion that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I am King Dorifan, ruler of the Zora. Hmm, that object upon your waist, is that not a Sheikah slate? Hmm, now that I have gotten good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. <laughs> you are the Helian champion, Link. Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Helian champion? You can't mean the Link, that champion? So, that's where I have heard your name before. What, an, what a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. <laughs> I cannot believe the Helian champion Link has appeared before us. We have met numerous times, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. 
I had heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. How extraordinary! Okay, I've been sleeping, yeah. Come again? Sleeping, you say? Hmm, is that why you do not seem to remember me? But surely you must remember my precious daughter, Mifa. Yes, you do? Don't, do you not? Uh, no. Doesn't ring a bell. I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mipha's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. Mm. I dearly hope so. Huh? Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Lynx seems confused. Mm. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion here without realizing it. That is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> ah, this is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Mm. Now then, hero. I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of the divine beast Varuta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? King Dorothan, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Helion to help? Why the very thought of it, it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented dented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Helion. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain, I have no doubt in my mind. Mm. Indeed, Link is a champion, true and true. As many now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Helions alike must put aside our differences and band together. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Helions. A hundred years ago, the M abused the power of the ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what is it, what it is today. And that is not the least of it. It is their fault that Lady Mifa was not lost to us. Link. Divine Beast Varuta has great power. It has the unique ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly spouting water in the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For us, Zora, water and air are as one, so you would not think that this would be quite so critical of a problem. Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it, will, as it soon will, I fear immense damage will befall not only on Zora's domain, but also the area downstream from us. 
There, Helian lives are in very grave danger. Oh, and the screech of Varuta sounds off in the distance. Hmm. The divine beast Varuta. Okay. What is this? Oh, yes. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Oh, cool, so it's like an elephant creature that's just kind of swimming in the whole reservoir. The Divine Beast Varuta. Your princess, Zelda, often studied the Divine Beasts, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on Varuta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. <sighs> Sagan, who is quite shock resistant for Azora, hit one of hit one with a shock arrow. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. <laughs> that is why I went in search of a Helion who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but... We need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. Hmm. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg you. I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I, um... What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to board the Divine Beast and appease it, and appease it from within? So then, Princess Zelda is still alive? I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were? The events of 100 years ago cannot be altered, it is true. But, if we can regain control of the Divine Beasts, they may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. Huh. I did not know that you had such grand ambitions, Link. Huh. Wondrous! Naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link, let us, appears, let us appease Ruta together. I'm in, let's go. Thank you, Link. Truly, you are in our debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. And yeah, we get the Zora's armor. Very cool. So yeah, swim speed up, custom armor, uh, painstakingly crafted by generations of Zora Princess for future husband wearing it will give you the ability to swim up waterfalls. That sounds very interesting. So long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls just like a Zora. Please take good care of it. King Dorfin! Surely you do not really intend to give this outsider the Zora armor. Countless generations of princesses have gifted that armor to the one they sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made that one there with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Helion. He may be a champion, but Mifa, but Mifa had no such relationship with him. So why should he receive such an honor? This is just too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Mm. 
Hmm, that Muzu is easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Helians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. Hmm, but what shall we do now? I tasked Muzu with finding shock arrows. We will need to appease Viruta. But now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I will work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Okay, and Sidon's just gonna go fetch Muzu, I guess. Sidon! I suppose that means you are going to tell him? Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Okay, sure thing. Well, that was a very, very long dialogue, but that's what makes narrative in this game fun, because there is these open world sections, and then there's always some storytelling which has to be made at some point, so it's always probably one of the funnest episodes are when there's some story development. So, oh, this is like a spring with a bunch of little Zoras swimming in it. Oh, they're so cute. And uh, we can get this river, sneaky river snail. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing here or what this even is. Is this interesting? Oh, I can read this. Okay. What does this say? History of the Zora, Part 7. The hero who defeated the Lionel, as told by King Dorothin. There was a time when people of the land were threatened by the beast or whatever. A Lionel who lived on Pluma Mountain. But one Helion drove the beast back and reordered peace to the domain. The Zora Helm something in the fight I know north of something in the something something. It rests there to something something something. Time has taken its toll on this. Yes, it sure has. Okay, uh... So, okay, where do I go? Let's go talk to Muzu. Hopefully we can convince him to help us. That would be very nice of him. Okay, wait, look, there's a side quest here. Okay, let's talk to Groove and he might give us a side quest or something. Oh, you! Hi! It's me! I'm the one Prince Sidon left at the top of the tower. My name is Groove. In the end, I wasn't able to join up with Prince Sidon. Instead, I worked up some fighting spirit and jumped into Zora River from the top of the tower. Then I came back here. I was deeply moved seeing my reflection on the water's surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. Uh, why so? It is my observation that a person's true colors shine the brightest when they dive freely into the waves. Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing the Zora armor, even a Helion like you can climb a waterfall and get back up here in no time at all. That said, if you don't mind me asking, would you please show me your true colors as you dive into the water? You can dive headfirst from here into the water below. It would be true beauty made flesh. Please consider. Okay, why would I want to do this? I'm not sure. But I guess we can try it out, right? Uh, maybe we want to equip the Zora armor first of all. If we can find it. Here it is, look at that. Very nice armor. And we should get it upgraded at the Fairy's Fountain as soon as we have the occasion. So let's talk... Come now, won't you please express your soul's potential with a glorious dive from here? 
Wearing the Zora armor, even a Helion like you can climb a waterfall, yes we know. Um, I want nothing more than to witness the beauty of an effortless and free dive, to feel it burned on my soul's memory. Okay, let's... Have you ever seen something that made your heart flutter with emotion? For me, seeing a person's diving form does that. The sight of a diver just before they become one with the water. I believe that to be the ultimate form of beauty. Do you have a question for me? No, not really. I will jump, just in case. Uh, if I die, um, please give this Zora armor back to King Dorofin. If you have any soul at all, then dive into the water below. Go on. I'm on the edge of my seat. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. That didn't work. That failed. Let's go back up. Please, hopefully this works. Yeah, look at that. Aw, oh, that's so cool. Oh, and we even go flying, and our paraglider gets deployed. Okay, let's just jump. Yeah, look at that. That was a nice dive. A blinding brightness. Radiant beauty. Hum. O okay, now climb the waterfall, and then meet me back here. This would be very cool if it's literally just a side quest where we do this and we get something cool out of it. Okay, so what do we do for doing this? <laughs> Fantastic! Can you feel that? My soul is on fire. It's pulsating with beauty. You showed me something truly special. Thank you so much. Now, then come over here real quick. Okay, let's just glide down to Groove. That was amazing! I saw your dive and waterfall climb with my own lucky eyes, and now those very eyes are flooded with tears of joy. Yes, I must thank you somehow. And we get fleet lotus seeds, that's nice. Oh, I feel emotionally ravaged after that. It is not every day I get to see a diving form as beautiful as yours, you know. I'll be looking forward to your next dive. Really, I will. Okay, so that was nice. Literally a side quest where you don't have to do anything and get something out of it. So let's just go down to the square. Right here. Okay. Let's talk to Muzu. Huh. You came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Hmm. Listen well, Muzu. There is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mifa had feelings for. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Helian named Link. What? No! You cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie. Not this, Zora. How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Helian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. Okay, so what do we have here? Looks like the Divine Beast Varuta, except he looks very friendly. I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. 
I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. Well, that was nice. It's always really fun to see these cutscenes. And we have awakened from our trance. What is the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm. Hmm. You are quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter? Mifa, I remember. What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Helion. There is no way you remembered her just now when it is most convenient. Huh? In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you and at your word. If you have such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and... and... I... I shall tell you how I get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Have you truly not figured it out yet? Simply take a look at what Link is wearing. Hmm? Hmm? You really think changing your clothes is going to make me... Huh? What in the... That Zora armor f from before. Lady Mifa made that by hand, and yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Hmm. Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to and who she made this special armor for. The fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mifa made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Helions, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mifa never told you. Hmm. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please. Tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you already figured it out. Hmm. <laughs> I never would have imagined she would make this that special armor for one such as he. <sighs> I do not approve of asking for her help from a Helion, but I suppose it is our only option at this point. I am a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior towards you. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. Mm. That tall mountain over yonder is called Ploimus Mountain. And there, you will also find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beast shoots volleys after volleys of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to a Zora. Uh. Aha! You must mean the, that Lionel. He is a man-beast, that one. That beast does indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. 
He is vicious, to be sure, but I am certain he will rise to the challenge. In order to appease the divine beast, I estimate that you will need, hmm, let's see, at least 20 shock arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? Why do you still doubt him, Muzu? I have no doubt he will be triumphant. Okay, Link, let's get moving. The fastest way to pl ploy Moose Mountain is to ascend the waterfall east of the domain. That Zora armor should come in handy. Just swim to the waterfall basin, and then go up the waterfall from there. I'll wait at East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. Gather at least 20 shock arrows, and then come join me. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> Wonderful! Together we shall stop that Divine Beast's onslaught. So yeah, that looks like a very tall mountain. Okay, guys, but anyways, we'll be going up to Ploimus Mountain in the next episode. That was lots of story development in this episode. I was kind of hoping we'd do more, but I had no idea there was that much story development, but that's always fun anyways. Anyways, guys, we're gonna leave this episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. And don't forget to share this video with all your favorite Zelda fans out there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day, everybody, and I hope to see you in the next video.